Hello friends, my name is Viraj. Today, I would like to show how to make your first page in ASP.NET using a simple label control. So, let us start with our tutorial. Here you can see a visual studio symbol. Click on it. It is Professional 2012 Visual Studio. Go to the file. You can see a new. Go to there. Select website. Click on it. You can see an empty website. Here you can see the language which are available. BB, C sharp. Here you can see all sort of framework. Select whichever you like. Here you, you should provide a name to your folder of a website. I just say first web page. Click OK. okay. Here you can see the name first web page. Click on the Solution Explorer. You can see the name. Right click on it. Add. Go to the Add. And add an item. Here is a web form. As you see the default name. You can enter whichever name you want. My first is B dot net page dot net page it has been created you can see the name the language which you have chosen and the extension and this is an code part which is in html so go to design part here you make all sort of design you want on your web page so for that there is a toolbox where all sorts of tools are available today we will basically just show how when text is shown on your web page you can use label or just a text inside a div or text is inside the div so select a label and label is created right click on it go to the property enter whatever text you like my asp dot net page It is has been created again you require little bit modification then go to the property here you can see a font click on it here is a plus and click on it select true if you want any italic then select it true you want an overland then select it true if you want to enter some sort of size uh, around 24 then you can select it see overline is there again you want some more modification if you want an underline then select it as a true if you want any side, uh, sort of color then enter the name of the color or you can just click here and you can see various type of color red blue whatever it can see or you can just enter the basic red color yellow green whatever or if you want any back color some sort of blue here blue or you want a border color for it you can also use that 
or if you want to set solid dotted any kind of border style then you can also select it see or if you want a border with some around 12 then it can be seen on your web page if you if you want any kind of modification just go to the property and choose whatever you like it now we will browse it so click right you can see view in browser and my default browser is connected is uh, google chrome click on it okay yes so you can see my asp.net page has been created and the name which i have used my first ASP.NET page you can see all dots overline underline italic bold size is 24 which you have used for creating it so hope you, you like this video please comment like and subscribe it thanks for watching it bye